just stopping through on this nice Sunday doing a a little energy check and trying something out new is this we're gonna do the scandalous energy messages okay let's see what's going on behind your back or what's um not being revealed to you at this time okay let's see what kind of messages we get spirit guides angels give me clear concise scandalous energy messages for the sign of Taurus, sun, moon, rising, and descending, the bull, okay? Hope all is well, Taurus. Leave me a comment in the comment section. Tell me what you're doing on this nice Sunday. What's your, um, what's your Sunday rituals, okay? How do you, what do you do? Do you get prepared for work, pack your lunch? Are you doing laundry, last minute cleaning, um, last minute shopping, running around? Just leave me a little message. I love interacting with you guys. Can't spend the night. Wow. All right, all right, all right. So, Taurus, I'm feeling like... I'm feeling like you're having some kind of... independence issue, okay? I feel like you found somebody that you're really into... And that you really like and that really likes you but I feel like you don't you're only allowing this person in your space a certain amount of time like you don't want you want you don't want to spend the night at their place and you don't want them spending the night at your place but they can come and you know y'all have sex or be intimate then they have to go yeah you see what that says good pussy so I feel like you enjoy you enjoy being with this person sexually but after that's over with, I feel like y'all don't have nothing in common, so you don't let this person spend the night. All right, Tars, I don't know what you got going about, going on, but hey, float your own boat, right, Tars? Do you? Let's see one more. End it abruptly. Hmm. So did you end this abruptly? Did you break somebody's heart? Taurus, I think you did. I think you were being a big old bully, Taurus, okay? I feel like you hurt this person really bad or this person hurt you really bad because I feel like this person ghosted you or you ghosted this person. And then your overall message is, I had sex with someone else once. Huh. So maybe, maybe, is this you, um, Taurus, being guilty about actually cheating on this person? Maybe for some of you, Taurus, is your inner relationship um, that ended abruptly because they found out that you slept with somebody else once? And maybe that's why the person couldn't spend the night because you're already um, in a relationship with somebody, okay? Let's get into the tarot, Taurus, and see what's going on. Yeah, I feel like this was about just sex. I feel like this was a... I feel like you got with this person just because this sex was good, okay? This seems like masculine energy because it says good pussy, so take it how it resonates. It could be a, um, two females, I'm not sure. Take it how it resonates. This is the Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, any placements that you have in your chart. All right. Spirit guys, angels. What do we need to see for Taurus? Show us. The Knight of Cups. So I feel like um I feel like somebody's trying to offer you a cup. I feel like I feel like this person um wants more than what you want though right now Taurus I feel like you you just got out of this relationship and I feel like you want to chill right now I feel like you're not looking for anything serious yeah the death card I feel like you're more about your transformation right now your glow up taking care of yourself um pampering yourself okay doing all the things you should have been doing for you while you were in um whatever this other relationship is with somebody sleeping with someone else behind your back yeah, the King of Cups. I feel like you meet somebody that's emotionally available. And I feel like when around the time you meet this person, 
I feel like you will too be emotionally available. Yeah, the three of cups. I feel like you and this person celebrate um celebrate some kind of milestone with each other. So this person could already be in your energy and your 3D right now, um, Taurus. Okay, I feel like I feel like you and this this King of Cups. I feel like you guys really get it on together. Okay, I feel like you party together. I feel like you go out to eat together. I feel like I feel like he y'all feel like counterparts. Okay. Whereas, like, two, where a dude would, like, take his homeboy everywhere with him to do certain stuff, I feel like this dude will take you everywhere. Like, y'all can hang tough like that. Yeah, the magician card. I feel like you just what he asked the universe for, right? And he really appreciates the fact that um, you're not... I feel like you're real open and he likes that about you. Not, not like an open relationship, but like you're open to new things or to try new things. And that's what he, he, he likes that about you because... He's the King of Cups. This is a water sign. Could be a Scorpio, um, Cancer, or Pisces, okay? This person is very emotional. This person likes to be around water. I feel like you do too. Yeah, the Eight of Pentacles. I feel like I feel like maybe you meet this person at your job or at your place of business, okay? Maybe this person is patron your business, okay? Yeah, the King of Wands. But I feel like this person um, just straight up came towards you, Taurus, and was like, Hey, my name is so-and-so. How you doing? I'd like to take you out on a date. Would you like to go have drinks or something like that? I feel like this person saw something in you from afar with the, um, the line in the back. You could be dating a Leo as well, okay? Or it could be a Cancer. Um... But I think this this person admires your strength, your wits about you, okay? I feel like, too, this person like how you put stuff together at work, okay? Like, I feel like every, you know, I feel like most most people come to work just looking like they're going to work. I feel like you go to work smelling good with your hair nicely groomed. You know, you look like a manager instead of, like, um, a crew person, if that makes sense. I feel like this person just likes your whole style, Okay. Yeah, the Six of Wands. This person wants more with you than just, um, you know, sex or fling. This person wants stability with you, marriage. This person wants to settle down, okay? This person this person is coming from a real um, lighthearted but heavy-hearted place, if that makes sense. This King of Cups makes him go in, into depths, okay, about you. He, he's studying you. He's um, trying to make you... He, he he's trying to make you happy. He's trying to like like be ahead of making you happy if that makes sense. Yeah, the Herefin. This person is talking marriage. Okay? And I just feel like this person makes you a sin. This person like drives you to want to be better. This person makes you um want to try different things, okay? The Herefin is a five. So this is a change in your um status, okay? I, I feel like you go from single to married, okay? I see somebody right changing their status on Facebook or social media, okay? The Nine of Pentacles, letting people know you're still abundant, but you're no longer single, okay? You're off the market now, though, okay? What else? You got the Two of Wands, okay? Yeah, planning. I feel like, too, this is you reflecting on your life, your past life, like where you've come from and being in a bad situation that ended abruptly to now being with someone that you can't even, you don't even know how you did without them, right? Wow, absolutely beautiful, Taurus. So you give up your independence pretty quick, but I feel like this person allows you to be who you are individually anyway, so it does not matter. There's, there's the pair, the Queen of Cups and the King of Cups. So this is definitely your counterpart. This is your soulmate connection, okay? I feel like this person just completes you totally and vice versa. Yeah, the emperor. This person is very stable. This person is very intelligent. This person is very intellectual, okay? This person's communication game is off the fucking chain. And they know it, okay? And you can hang with the best of them, okay? Um, Taurus, yeah, the four ones. This person, you, they want marriage and stability, children. Um, a dog, the white picket fence. That's all they want with you, nothing else. Let's get you one more card and we'll get you out of here. Spirit guys, angels. One more outcome card for Taurus, the bull. I just saw the three of wands. 
All right, so outcome, you got Ten of Wands and Death. Yeah, I feel like this relationship, this, this joining of you and this person um, connection, I feel like it allows you to let go of all anything that bothers you. This person, this person is trying to lighten your load. This person does not want you to worry. Um, this person does not want you to um, not be able to create. Okay, this person wants you to be able to feel supported, to um, feel taken care of, to trust that he's doing that what he's supposed to do as a partner. Okay, so this energy, the Ten of Wands and the Devil, this is this is past energy. You don't have to feel like this anymore, um, Taurus. This is over with. This person came to restore you. This person didn't come, come to tear you down like you've been in the past. All burdened down, right? Because I feel like when this relationship left abruptly, I feel like you left with just what you can take with you, okay? You wasn't worried about furniture. You wasn't worried about, you know, how much was in your bank account. I feel like you left with your very, your very clothes on your back, okay? Whatever you had to do, but I feel like this is spirit rewarding you for having the courage, okay, to move on in spite of how it looked. And now look at all the abundance and blessings and love that you got. Yeah, and there, there's a strength card. You were, you were much stronger than you thought. I feel like that's what this proved to you that, you know, just because you go through something in life, it does not mean that that's the end or that that's your conclusion, okay, if that makes sense, Taurus. So that's absolutely beautiful, Taurus. I'm going to leave it right there. If you're still with me, hit that like button. And don't forget to subscribe. Talk to you guys later. Bye.